Man, I'm really starting to dislike gaming companies. There used to be a time when a brand meant something. A logo actually meant something. Blizzard, for example. You would see Blizzard releasing a game and you were like, I must have it. I don't care what's in the trailer. I need to play the game. Why? Because it's made by Blizzard. I trust those guys. Those guys will not let me down. Those guys don't release a game until it's ready. They, they release only good quality games. Nowadays, I can't think of a single company that's like that. And, and it's mostly because you used to have a couple of people in a garage that would get together with an idea and they would create something new and unique that would then sell to the market. Nowadays, those people are probably gone. They're not even there anymore. I mean, imagine when you were a kid, you had your best friend, which was a dog named Lassie. And you were running with Lassie on the fields and you were having a good time. And that dog was always there for you. When, when the school bully attacked you, the dog went in there and defended you. When, when you got into the forest and a pack of wolves attacked you, that dog just chased the wolves away. It was like the most faithful pooch you ever had. And one day someone came in and murdered Lassie. They murdered Lassie in cold blood. And then they stuffed it. They stuffed it into this ridiculous effigy of what it once was. And now they're presenting that to you. And they're like, hey, don't you like your dog, kiddo? Don't you like her? It's still Lassie. She's so like, look, woof, woof, woof. It's still your dog. This is how I view what companies are becoming. This is what I view the new blizzard of, hey, don't you guys have phones? And hey, we, we don't want to offend China, but, but we're a very progressive company. Support the LGBT, Black Lives Matter. But, but we're selling with China. Don't, don't offend China, by the way, all right? America bad, China evil. Make sure you get that. Oh, God, like, and, and it's everywhere. All the companies, and, and you get to tell that the products that they're putting out are subpar than the products that they used to put. Um, right now, you see people walking away from Blizzard, uh, and now you see people walking away from Bioware. I guess like this news came as a surprise to me. I was a little bit shocked that there are still people that were there from the beginning in Bioware. Like they, they still had some people left, but like I guess at this point it's like trying to check the pulse of a cadaver. Um, Bioware general manager Casey Hudson and Dragon Age executive producer Mark Dara have left Bioware. 2020 has been a year that forced us all of us to reimagine how we think about work and life. Hudson said that for me it's been the realization that I will still have tremendous energy to create, but also that I need to try something different. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I know I want to start rediscovering my creative passion through more personal work. I will tell you why. The companies are killing creativity. I mean, it, it's not... Like, people just get around and pitch ideas. If you know anything of what happens behind the scenes, they will literally flat out tell you what you're allowed and what you aren't allowed to create. Uh, video games aren't art anymore. They're like a Frankenstein monstrosity where usually, like, several different teams try to tackle it from different directions. It's kind of funny. It's like the, the way the last StarCraft movie was made... It wasn't made by a scriptwriter. It's like several scriptwriters that patched it in together. It's it's almost like it's a product coming from the assembly line. And, and they're just like adding pieces. Like, you, you can't create art like that. I'm sorry, but you just cannot. Now, I, I don't know what the solution to this is. I, I, I don't know how can a corporation exist, but at the same time allow creativity. But from what I'm seeing, like what's going on in California yeah, and other places like it, it's more to the point that companies want uniformity. They want all of their employees to think the same way when at work, when at home, want to dedicate like 14 hours to the company, crunch those numbers. And when you behave like that, you, you lose creativity. Uh, you, you just, you, you cannot be creative in such an environment. So apparently, uh, the projects currently in development at Bioware remain underway, including the next major Dragon Age game, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, and the next Mass Effect game. Man, I, I wish I could say I'm, I'm excited about these, but like, the last Dragon Age... Look, I, I tried my best 
And it's not because of the wokeness, by the way. It's, it's got nothing to do with it. I, but I did try my best in order to finish The Last Dragon Age. I did try, like, three times I have started that game. I could never get myself to finish. It is a tedious grind. Just, just like random quests after random quests diverting you from the main story. And I don't know, it's just like, th there's nothing interesting going on. I like Dragon Age 1. I would say even Dragon Age 2 is better than Dragon Age 3. And that Dragon Age 2 was made in a rush. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, I couldn't finish it. And I wanted to. They, again, it doesn't have anything to do with the wokeness. But the game was a buggy mess. Most of my immersion was going out the window as I was looking to those soulless, faceless NPCs. And yet again, the story, very not interesting. You know, like, the Quarians, which were the only race in the galaxy capable of producing the best Western waifu. Talizora Vas Normandy. They removed them from the game. Like, why, why would you do that? Why would you remove the most popular race? How detached are these people from the actual gaming community that they decided to remove one of the most popular aspects from Mass Effect. I just, I, I don't get it. Not to mention, like, Tali Zora Vas Normandy is probably halal, even by progressive standards, considering that she's covered all the way up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, so apparently, you know, they're writing and they're saying how they're incredibly fortunate. Like, you usually have to understand that uh, when these people leave the company, they're, they're probably under several layers of NDAs and uh, they're, they're also trying to get a letter of recommendation so they're not going to actually say what's bad in the company but I remember like an article from Kotaku when occasionally Kotaku manages to do journalism I think it was made by Totilo and they were talking how oppressed the game developers were at the company and and how difficult it was for them to work and how different uh departments were conflicting with each other and it's like yeah it's it's such a toxic environment such a toxic working environment and such as i the death of creativity was what i like to call it um so apparently like this guy worked on star wars the old republic uh and anthem i mean you know like i guess louis Levar was wrong he, he kept saying it's like oh it's the death of bioware it's the death of bioware I don't think like they want to kill Bioware because it's the brand, you know, like people still see, oh, it's a Mass Effect game from Bioware, oh, I, I'm going to buy, like, even if they manage to sell like 10% of the stocks just by the brand alone, it, it's worth keeping the brand. Um, EA Games isn't killing brands like they used to, uh, but um, I wonder, like, what, what if the new Dragon Age and the new Mass Effect also falls, uh, it also fails again? Uh, what are they going to do then? Hmm? Like, what, what, what are they going to do? Because uh, everything they released recently has been a failure, hasn't it? There, there is not a single good game that I can remember from Bioware since uh, Mass Effect 3, actually. Or Dragon Age 2. I don't know which one was later, but like, yeah. Uh, the, and Dragon Age 2 wasn't even that of a good of a game. Like, it was a rushed cash grab. Uh, but by today's standards, given what's on the gaming market right now, I don't know, I play Dragon Age 2. Like, I, you know, like, they would be lucky to just make a remake from Dragon Age 2 and people will probably buy that. Um, it's, it's a shame, you know, it's, it's really disappointing. So, yeah, I mean, if you had any, any hopes, uh, for Bioware, I think they're gone. Like, at this point, it's not even the same company anymore. Uh, it's, it's not... I, the, the people who worked there and made Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, and Neverwinter Nights, and so on and so forth, they're not there anymore. So, you know, you, you need to be aware that despite the fact that the brand is the same, it's a completely different company now. You know, I, I wish they can make a good game. Honestly, I, I want to enjoy something. I can't remember, like, since God of War, when is the last time I actually enjoyed the game? Like, I'm a gamer, I want to play and have fun. I, I don't like whining and complaining, but... Uh, it is what it is. Let me know what you think, and I'll be seeing you guys in the comment section.